Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Bugs. And guys, I am tired of the multiverses slander. I am tired of the multiverses misinformation just for some clicks and likes. So day one of multiverses, I decided to play this game for six days straight, non-stop. I did get some sleep, kind of, but this is going to be the most realist um, impression video about multiverses compared to these other people that probably play the game for an hour and gave like their full first impressions or these beta lovers that you know stuck in the past and won't change there's also going to be timestamps in the video so you can jump to whatever topic you want to listen to and also if you do enjoy multiverse content then hit the subscribe button guys so my impressions about multiverses now before we get into our first topic i do want to be considerate to tony because he did um tweet the sound and i'm very happy that he did kind of giving us uh explanation of why certain things were removed which we're still going to talk about at the end of the video but yeah pretty much um there's a lot of things that are going to be implemented um or ha has been planned but just was left out due to the time of rebuilding the game so if you didn't know they changed their game from unreal engine 4 to unreal engine 5 and pretty much only had about i want to say a year or 13 months to pretty much make the game functional again and yeah this is pretty impressive but again as consumers i think we all want to just play a good working game so yeah moving on now i know there's three big things that people want me to talk, talk about and i am going to talk about it real quick um first the camera angle i got used to it um actually playing it isn't as bad as watching it so it is what it is second is the speed the speed is is good guys i don't think the speed um is slow yes it is slower than the beta but it's not bad speed and then finally the character sizes again i think it's great you know we actually can visually see the characters more better and it looks awesome to see your skins that you purchase but the three major things that i've been disliking about the game is perks infinite slash looping slash kill power and finally the projectile properties and let's get straight into it so perks um if you haven't noticed they removed a lot of perks and this is for good and the better um i've heard that it was just too much to digest um as a casual you know there's so many perks on your screen um and also there was a lot of useless perks that just barely did anything and just wasn't worth keeping which i understand so what they did was they actually removed a lot of perks and made and kept um the favorite perks and kind of buffed them and not only that they also put them in three categories which i'm not a big fan of i did like the diversity of changing it and stacking and all that stuff but um they decided that i guess it was too strong or too much so now you're only able to stack the first um category while the other two categories are for yourself so the first category if i'm running one of these perks and my team is running these perks then we both get um each individually together and obviously if we stack it then we get it doubled um, but then these two perks they do not are they are not shared these are just based off of you and yourself that's it your teammate doesn't get none of these benefits in a way they did make it better but in a way i still feel like there's a lot of useless perks so for example for the team one um sturdy dodger and stronger than ever they're just too short one second after pairing a projectile you get armor for one second after you respawn you get two seconds of armored and they obviously if you you know run it with your teammates doubled again i feel like these are too short they're just not worth the other ones where i could do more damage or my projectiles do fire or i can literally just run forward and you know have a shield be activated uh, I can literally have weekend added to my my kit after a certain amount of percentage that I get um, an opponent. I'm having a hard time trouble killing them. Um, next, strongs. Strongs across the board are actually strong. They're all great perks. I love everyone. Even the troll one. Literally, you can taunt your uh, opponents and make them um, be enraged and buffed. Awesome. Standard. Standard is very lackluster once again. I feel like there's no really useful perk besides um, clear the air, which will reflect... Um, projectiles back at your opponents as throw it at you and an armor crush um and then obviously i guess if you use projectiles this is also good it's uh, increased damage like three to four damage on top of your projectile armor killer i still haven't really got to try it ex um, fully to see how long the armor um is stopped for um but again it's probably not that long based off of how, how this game is and how much you can be um delaying um fighting your teammates and then these two aren't the best buggy list is what i want to say a 10 percent. so um after you do 10 percent damage it's one um percent extra added and then finally um second win it's pretty dope this one i really do like but as of right now um it's probably still use useless but again useful if you do know like all your confirms of using all your resources so yeah um i really wish there was more perks and also i really wish there was more signature perks uh w on this signature perk though so for example us um not us but there's home party players that really felt like running no perks was the better perk so now we actually have a universal perk which is called well-rounded that gives you a five percent boost to um your damage dealt and your defenses which is awesome and i actually seen a lot of people have been using this for example one of players uh, my teammate actually has been using this over the other whips because um how the whip works and etc so it's pretty dope i like that um but i do wish there were more signature perks um on all the characters all around all right next is the gameplay yes the infinites the loops the kill power 
<clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the kill power, guys. I think it's way too much. I can show you how many clips of people just literally just exploding. When I mean exploding, exploding. Um, especially if you DI incorrectly. If you don't know what DIing is, it means directional um, influence. And pretty much, um, depending on where your enemy has hit you, you can kind of control where you want to go, like left, right, up, down types, type of stuff. And yeah, you you die. You die a lot. And the next thing is the looping slash infinites. Obviously, you know, they don't want that. I, I don't know how we got back to this era, which is very unfortunate. But within the next patch or two, I definitely want a lot of stuff to be removed or at least DIable. Um, there are characters that have loops that, you know, build up to 40% or maybe even 50%, but it's DIable. Uh, but then there's other characters that just straight up, once they touch you, that's it. Like, for example, IG, he touched you, that's it. Wonder Woman, she touched you. It's not it, but her kill power is very strong. So um, her loop gets you up, I want to say up to 80%. And then next hit, you're just, you're just dead. Um, yeah, so stuff like that. Uh, I can't wait for that to get, you know, tuned out and cleaned up. And after that, I think the gameplay will be 100% better. And then finally, guys, the projectile properties. They are all over the place once again. Uh, if you're a beta player, um, it was pretty much the same thing. But this time, again, it's just all over the place. I'm going to show you our clips here and there that just kind of just showcase that it's just like some things work um pretty much we had light projectiles medium projectiles and heavies light beats light medium beats medium heavy beats heavy medium be um light heavy beats medium vice versa you know in this version sometimes things beat things other times things beat things um apparently you can hit projectiles um but apparently only only armor breaking moves beat projectiles it, it is all over the place. Uh, I really hope they get this um, figured out because right now it kind of just doesn't make sense to me and I really want to understand what works against what and what is what and etc. <laughs> oh, and finally, I almost forgot one more thing. Hitboxes. Yes, I'm sorry, PFG, if you're watching this, but oh my God. Look at this. I'm just going to show you Bugs Bunny. Obviously, there's other characters, but I'm showing you Bugs Bunny. We literally got this removed. Why are up attacks hitting underneath again? I don't I don't care if the frame starts at the beginning down there. Why does the hitbox frame start down there and end? It ends there too. It's an up attack. Please be an up attack. If it's a down attack, please be a down attack. And also, this might just be an online thing, but I've noticed, um, I guess there's like a prediction hitbox where something's going to hit, so it kind of just hits early. Again, it could just be an online thing, but if it can be fixed, I would love it. I feel like some things hit a little bit. A frame or two too early where literally if someone's like running away they would have gotten away if like if it actually took the time to actually hit and then do that hit pause thing that's in the game which is one more topic that i not really want to talk about but i really do wish they knocked it back at least in a lot of like a few frames i feel like the hit stun in the game is kind of absurd too but yeah that is the gameplay um opinion on that all right the next topic we're going to talk about is the ui and honestly guys i truly like most of the on the ui i know there's a joke going around that it looks like um fortnite and <laughs> it really does but overall uh, i have really no complaints about the ui i think overall they all look great but the only two things are actually three things that i don't like about the ui is one the battle pass um i've definitely felt like they could have gave us some type of background here just something <laughs> it feels too bland um, second is the game mode. I really do feel like the game mode has like n nothing. Again, it's just a basic thing just to click your modes and go ahead. But I don't know. When I think about multiverse, I think just, it needs to flourish and just, you know, just pow. But right now it isn't. And again, that's just my opinion. But one thing that I truly do want to be changed is the changing your characters. Um, here's a concept art for someone that made, which is freaking awesome. And also diverse, like, you know, whether a character is a tank, a mage, or, or a bruiser, or an assassin, which is awesome. Um, but another thing that... I saw, which unfortunately I cannot show you because I don't know where it's at, but someone also made an art where the background is kind of like where these guys are from. So, for example, you know, Finn and Jake um, will be from their universe. They could use, um, you know, Tree Fort as the map. They don't really got to do each character individually, but they could group them into certain things. So, for example, um, you know, Joker, Batman, Harley could be Gotham. And I know they're probably saying that's a lot of work, but they also have like in-game stuff they can use so for example if you go to the rift mode right here um for joker batman and harley you could use this background literally i think this would be awesome you know it looks nicer it looks better when you're picking your characters this is dope um for characters like um rain dog stripe and gizmo and now yeah, yeah i think that's about it um you could use this background which is kind of like the whole nothing universe galaxy and then someone like jason right now um you know you can do like a lake or whatever but if you want to do that for villains that kind of don't have like a true home or again if it's too much to do you can put them in this kind of background where this is their background like the evil version of the nothing you know universe thing that's going on and then like i said um you know uh what 
like I said, there's the, we have maps that that also relate to these characters. So for example, you could put Taz, um, Bugs Bunny, um, in um, Space Jam map. They could they could definitely make the background more like dope and cooler. But that's about it. One more thing, I hope PFG adds like a, you can favor your friends, so you could put them in front of your list of your friend list if, in case you have like a lot of people that's online. But yeah, next topic we're gonna talk about is the lab. And guys, oh my God, the lab is so bad. <laughs> there is like nothing you could really do. Um, the bots could be, you know, recovery, idle, jump, normal attack, um, special attack, fight, and then a whole bunch of different type of dodging. There is nothing you could do. You can't see hitboxes. You can't um, put them in a certain port, um, position in the map, all this stuff. You can change the map hazard. That's about it. Um, I really wish they add more stuff. I really wish they added twos labbing. I really, really want that PFG. This is a 2v2 game. Please let me and my teammate practice stuff. I really, really appreciate you. I, I could get that in the game. <laughs> really, really please. Um, but yeah, um, they definitely need to improve this. Also, allow players that don't have characters try them out in the lab before they commit to purchasing, you know, characters. I think that was kind of like a bad change that they did. Skins make sense in my opinion, but I think you should allow people to at least in the lab try them out to see if they even want to commit to the characters. Also, um, I think it would be cool to remove um, bots completely from the lab so I could take cool screenshots if I really wanted to. I was trying to do that, but unfortunately I couldn't. And yeah, I think that would just be a cool little feature to add in. That was also in the beta. All right, next we have our rifts. And guys, I think this is a great addition to multiverses, a PVE mode where you could just chill and relax and then not have to fight a whole bunch of sweats. Um, and also we get a riff every week. This is dope, this is great content. But there are two gripes that I dislike, which is the difficulty and the replay factor to this game. So the first is the difficulty. Um, I just think it is too easy. Um, I could be jumping the gun on this, for example, because we haven't tried the, I haven't tried personally the crushing mode, Insanity and Looney, and obviously the last two we can't even try yet. But yeah, I just feel like it is way too easy um, with the bots. The bots kind of just feel like they're bland. I feel like easy mode should just be like how the bots are now, you know, just beat up, beat them up and then, you know, get it over with. Experienced, I think they should definitely know a little stuff, a little combo, you know, a little jab, jab, up tilt, something, you know, that us players know. And then crushing, I definitely feel like they should be a like, Average player, maybe a little bit below average player, but Insanity and Looney, I better see these guys doing some crazy combos and doing more damage. And on top of that, um, this, this is a, a big thing that I really do hope gets changed, Looney. So if you read it, it literally says complete matches with a limited amount of lives, as in like there's only amount of lives and if you lose it all, then you kind of have to reset or like buy lives or wait the next day to play. I think this version should be into Insanity. I mean, it probably is, I'm not sure, but it probably, um, but that version should be Insanity, but for Looney, it should be you have limited lives and if you lose them all you have to purchase a reset and pretty much or again wait the next day but you purchase a reset and you have to start from free from the beginning and i think that will make it more challenging in my opinion maybe i'm just talking out my ass but i think that would be more fun and another thing that i dislike again is the replay factor um, i feel like in these pve modes or these like single player modes you need a replay factor, right? You you need to feel like you need to play the level once or twice to want to know or understand how to beat it before you um, beat it. So for example, I think there needs to be thresholds. Um, obviously, when you beat a character, you move on, which is fine. Uh, when you lose to the character, you don't move on. But if you don't do a challenge, you still move on. So for example, I actually tested it out this morning, as you can see me only having one star. I literally just queued up, did not move a muscle, and I still won. My crystal got destroyed and everything, and I still won. There needs to be thresholds in my opinion. I'm um, obviously in easy mode, let it be whatever, but like for, again, experience, crushing and stuff, there should be like a threshold where you have to hit or you can't move on. Again, it needs, needs to feel like a challenge versus haha, play, push buttons, I'm done. That's just my opinion. Other than that, I think this mode is awesome. I think it's fun. I think it's also fun to do with a friend. For example, me and uh, my boy Hunter Dollar B literally did like the, what is it, break the target and we just had a challenge of who got the highest score and all that stuff, which is pretty fun. Next topic we're gonna talk about is the store. And guys, I think the store is great. Um, there's only one thing that I dislike about the store, which is um, the discounts. And you're probably saying, what do you mean about the discount? How, why would you hate discounts? The only reason why I hate the discounts is because these random numbers that we have, for example, 1501. Um, I hate that, you know, games do like these breakdown of like missing out on points that you will never use ever in your lifespan. Um, so I think they should just round it to like literally to zeros um, because that's the only way you can purchase, you know, into zeros. You can't do those like one, two, three, four, five gems, you know, besides, I guess, the bonuses. But yeah, I think they should just round them up to zeros and it's all good. All right, so the next topic we're gonna talk about is the progression system. Now there's a lot to talk about for this, so we're just gonna go tab by tab. And the first one we're gonna talk about is the characters. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is the fighter mastery. I feel like this is really basic. The only thing you get is currency um, for perk and characters, but I think it is dope that you end off with getting gladium. Yeah, the um, premium currency, you actually get that for free by just 
mastering your character but i really wish there were like banners profile pictures shoot even like a cool skin at level 25 30 something you know i think it would have been dope but you also get currency after completing it which is pretty dope um but yeah i really wish there was more to it and now the next topic we're going to talk about for the characters is unlocking characters now unfortunately i'm not going to really have an opinion about this because i have everyone unlocked so it wouldn't be fair it'll be very biased but i'm going to tell you all the ways that you can earn um character currencies to unlock all the characters that you want so for example um as you can see you get up to 600 by just playing your character up to level 14 so you know every character you do you get 600 um currency battle pass even if you don't own the battle pass there's actually free tiers that gives you um fighter currency not only that there's a bunch of events as you can see that gives um character um currencies by just again playing the game even your daily logins um give you that and yeah um i'm also pretty sure riffs also do it by just playing it so yeah just by playing the game guys you get fighting currency to unlock your characters because there's been this narrative of like oh my god it costs 200 dollars to get all the characters in reality guys it is a free-to-play game they have to make money somehow and again if you don't want to spend money they show you many ways not to by just playing the game you can you can unlock so many things by playing the game for free even the battle pass you could purchase the battle pass for free by just playing the game with the character um stuff and as you saw um in the events you also can earn glenium it is crazy um but yeah Next we have is the battle pass. Yes, I feel like the battle pass needs to have where you get match. Uh, when you complete a match, you should get um, battle pass XP. Because right now, I think it's just missions and the rift mode on PvE. That is about it. PFG, if you're watching, please add battle pass XP by playing. I'm pretty sure this is the only game where you don't get battle pass XP by playing the game. Kind of crazy. So hopefully they improve on that. Next we have our events. Uh, I think overall the events are awesome right now. Again, they give you a whole bunch of currencies. Um, some of them give you skins and, and other currencies. Yeah, overall on the board, 10 out of 10. Um, they did a great with events. Missions, same thing. I think missions are great. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, you know, they give you a lot of um, battle xp battle pass xp but again still wish they were in matches and then finally the store for the prestige store i know there's a lot of talks about this i am gonna be a bi bias about this thing um i like exclusivity uh, if you don't know how the prestige store works pretty much when you get any um cosmetics um whether it's a skin voice banner all that stuff you actually get prestige tokens yes that is including the battle passes that's including your twitch drops anything you get for this game you get points for it and those points allows you to purchase stuff like this now it looks like some of these stuff will be going to the store in the future because you know none of them say exclusive besides the batman who laughs i think i'm fine with this again i like exclusivity, so i'm kind of being biased but yeah uh, nothing's wrong with this in my opinion and yeah the next topic is missing stuff we need back asap again for the people that forgot already Tony did say that there's a lot of features missing because they just didn't have enough time and it will be added in the future. But we're still going to talk about them. One is no match stats. You can't see your KOs. You can't see your damage. I really hope that comes back. And I'm pretty sure he actually said it um, in this tweet right here. Next, there's no level showing. There's no level progression showing. I'm at the end of the matches or even at the beginning of the match. You know, I don't even know what level my um, opponent is. You know, I would love to see stuff like that. Next is less settings. We don't have neutral dodge. We don't have um, swap neutral and attack. And we have no input buffer. We need them stuffs, you know? The outlines. Uh, if you don't know, there's an updated version now where they're highlighted now, like completely changed color and all that stuff. Um, same way how there's an option for taking outlines on and off, there should be one for the highlighting. I like the outlines. I don't like the highlighting, you know? They definitely should be separated. Next, we have a spectating mode. It's not there. I hope to see it come very soon. Um, no rank, no guilds. I can understand no rank right away, especially because it's a new version of the game, so we definitely should take our time and like learn this new version. But, um, you know, speak to us. No more hiding. The game is out. Let us know. Hey, all right, rank's going to be next month. Rank's going to be this. You know, just let us know. Um, Next, no guilds. Bro, you have um, promoted it back all the way in the beta that is coming soon. Now there's no talk about it in this version of the game. What's going on? Like I said, talk to us. And then finally, trying out characters and skins in the lab. I can understand skins, you know. Definitely, you can see the skin if you like it or not. But characters i definitely think you um should put that back into the lab you should be able to try out every character um even even if they don't own it because one you know you want to try a character out to see if you want to purchase it and then two to learn the matchups you know understand what the characters even does to understand all right well this is what they do this is what it works and etc i think that would be awesome all right guys and that was my impression on multiverses hopefully you took all that in i know it was a lot to take in because this was a long long video but i feel like i just need to get my like say out there because I've, I've just been seeing a lot of this backlash and doubt about the game so instantly and the game has barely been out for a week bro i think this is literally day seven and people are already doubting the game and saying oh my god it's dead and don't get me wrong uh, i'm not making excuses for pfg 
I really did wish like a lot of this stuff was already figured out. And again, all the features that we already had did stay in, but at least he was vocal about why some features weren't there and they're working on it, you know, cause they only had like, like I said, probably like 13 months to add all this and started on a whole new engine. And hopefully they can get this all figured out and completely updated within the next two to three patches. Like I said, possibly a month max where, you know, rank and all this is added. All these bug fixes are gone. All the um, quality of life is just in the game right then and there. Like I said, within this month. And I think we just have a great game on our hand. I think we all been looking for a new game. And I think Multiverse is it as long as, you know, everything goes as planned. Um, that is it. Leave a like if you like the video, comment anything you know. I love y'all comments and reading it. And again, if you like multiverses content, hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find